All right, Rose says, uh, Hi, Kay, have a safe trip back. Thank you for this channel. I have learned a lot from here. Finally, after one year, I have started to see some progress. Thank you. Oh, that's great to hear, Rose. That's great to hear. Yeah, so again, I am actually uh, coming back to Japan to visit in about two weeks. So uh, I'm so excited. I'm very excited. Yeah. So uh, because, um, you know, it's been one year exactly. I came to Dubai last July. So I'm coming back to Japan in July. So yeah, it's exactly in one year now. So time flies, but uh, this is my, this is very excited. Yeah, most likely I will be staying in Tokyo, around Tokyo. And uh, I will just visit the places where I used to visit and used to live in Tokyo. Because uh, when I came to Dubai, I was too busy to do lots of stuff like paperwork and I have to sell properties. I had so many things to do before I come to Dubai. So I didn't have enough chance to look around and sit down and see sunset and see, you know, just relax in town. I didn't have time in Tokyo. And I didn't have time to visit these uh, parks and also some, uh, some of my favorite places like the restaurants and the library and so on. So I will be visiting these places too this time. Yeah, so I'm so excited to do. Okay. All right, so let me close the vault and uh, see how many are yes and how many are no with that question. And then I will talk about my own impression and also my own feeling about travel and trade. Okay, so now I closed and uh, okay, I got uh, 82 votes and no, 59%, yes, 40%. Okay, okay. So uh, yeah, for me, obviously it's yes, because, uh, because I have traveled and also traded before. Even when I was in Japan, I used to travel different places in Japan and uh, I actually, uh, yeah, travel and trade together. But my feeling is, uh, you know, when I trade, when I trade in, in uh, at home, at home, and also when I trade outside of home, different places, the emotion is much different, is my feeling. Much different in the sense that uh, sometimes you don't feel trading when you travel, because you want to enjoy the travel, you enjoy the, to, the sightseeing and see different places and uh, for me, right, just for me, I want to focus on travel and I want to focus on the, uh, the, the, the time, you know. Uh, so let's say this time I go back to Japan to visit and uh, when I land in Tokyo for the first four or five days, for sure I won't, I won't trade, I'm not gonna trade. But I will at least check charts once or twice per day. But uh, I don't think I will trade because my emotion will be not there. My emotion will be out from the market. So most likely I will, I'm not gonna trade. Even, that, even if we have many trends, big trends, when I landed in Japan, I wouldn't trade. Yeah, because uh, yeah, I want to focus on, on my travel. And uh, so that's exactly what happened when I came to Dubai from Japan last July. It was a relocation, so it wasn't a simple travel. So it was actually, actually much more. I had, to find a, I had to find an apartment and I had to find a car. I had to find many things. I had to set up the company here. And uh, I had so many things to do uh, when I first came to Dubai. So I came to Dubai in July and in the month of June, I took only a few trays. I think it was only two or three trays. And then in the month of July also, I took very few trays. 
because I wasn't my my emotion, my soul was not there to trade. So I was seeing charts, checking charts at least once per day, and I knew what was happening in the markets, but I didn't trade. I was keep simply staying away. Um, so in reality, it happens. So you know, sometimes you know people dream of travel and trade at the same time, but uh, based on my experience, it's not really ideal. I think, I think it's not really ideal. Um, for example, you can take a half day off. I mean, half day to use for the trading, and uh, you can take the other half day to travel and to sightseeing. I think uh, if you can manage these uh you know different um times i think uh, it's possible but most likely when you visit a new place you're excited to see different things and experience different uh, food different uh culture different you know uh buildings and so on so uh yeah at least for me my emotion wasn't there so this time I will be back in Japan to visit, but most likely I won't trade for the first one week is what I decided. And for the second week, I'm not sure. Uh, if I continue to enjoy the second week in Japan, then most likely I won't trade. Yeah, because I want to simply enjoy the stay. I have to meet my friends, my family, and also uh, visit different places so most likely my emotion will, will be not there but if I stay in Japan for maybe at least one month or so then I think that will be different yeah if I stay there one month then uh, maybe towards the end of the, the stay I think I have more time emotionally I have more time to sit down and check charts so that's my feeling actually that's my feeling so yeah 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 thanks for joining everyone thank you for the comments i see many comments now yeah. thank you for watching the video until the end but before ending let me briefly share with you one important concept of mine as a pro trader that is i am not focusing on one single trade result but my main focus is a result over time because most of the traders only focus on one single trade result or a couple of trades results whether it's a win or loss and they tend to get emotional from trade to trade and they don't really focus on the result in a long run so remember to focus on your trades results over time at least for a month and don't get emotional by a result of one single trade if you liked today's video, please press a good button and make sure to subscribe and hit the bell so that you get notified as I keep uploading a new video or as I do the next live. So I wish you a great trade success on your way and I hope to see you on the next live or video. Alright, so until then, stay gold and matane!